Hey everyone, welcome to our new video. Finally, GORG 3 is available as a API to use. As uh, you see that this is the official announcement, GORG 3 now available on the API. And in this video, I will tell you three ways to use this GORG 3. And also here in this video, I will tell you how to get this $150 credit for free per month, not for the one time, per month, you will get this $150 credit for free from the official GORG. Okay, and uh, I will show the step-by-step -step process. So please stay with me till the end. Here you see that they have published uh, two types of GORG 3 models. One is the GORG 3, another one is this GORG 3 mini. And also under this GORG 3 mini, there is a, some variation like low and high. Here you see that this is the low and this is the high. Okay. And what is the difference between this low and high? Uh, I hope you have uh, seen this O3 mini also. When uh, OpenAI published that O3 mini, in that case, there were three variants like uh, low, high, medium, right? So in the same way, this GORG3 also have uh, these two variation under this GORG3 mini. GORG3 mini beta low and this GORG3 mini beta high, okay? And you see that there is a lot of difference uh, in these benchmarks, like under this AIME benchmarks, this low version is scoring 67.5, uh, but this high version is scoring 83. So there is a huge difference between this low and high. Okay. Now, uh, how to use this Cork 3, right? So for that, what I will do, I will go to this platform x.ai. So remember the website name x.ai. I have given the link in the description also. You will find this type of interface. So just scroll down and here you will find this API. Here you see that API option. Now under this API, you will find this build now. So click on this build now. Now when you click on that, you will find one login page. I have already logged in. Now after login, you will find this type of uh, page, billing page. So here what you have to do to get this uh, $150 credit for free, you have to set up your billing. Okay. So click on the setup billing and after that, here you see that there is a billing address. Okay. Now under this billing address, you will find this edit option. So click on this edit and here give your name, email and choose your country, address, city, zip code. And after that, click on this save. Okay. So when you save it, uh, after that, you will find another option, which is payment method. Okay. So under this payment method, what you have to do, you have to add five dollar to your account okay when you add five dollar to your account after that only you will be uh, able to get this 150 dollar for free each month so this five dollar addition is one time okay but after that each month you will get this 150 dollar credit i hope you got the point now after that here you see that on the left hand side you will find this credits okay and here you see that free credits okay and here you see that opt in to share the data with xai so to get this 150 dollar you will find here button share the data and click on that and uh, you will get this uh, 150 dollar credit for free okay now this was the procedure to get the 150 dollar credit for free and to use the official gorg right now there are another two ways that you can use uh, this gorg 3 one is this open router and another one is this request team. Okay. Many of you know about this request team and many of you don't know about this request team. So if you go to this request.ai, this is another API provider. By the way, this request is also available in this uh, client. So if I go to this client settings, those who don't know what is client, it is an extension in VS code. So install this client extension. After that, go to settings. Okay. And here you see that under this API provider, you will find this request also. But here, if you want to use the official uh, GORG API, then in that case, select uh, this XAI. Okay. So after that, here you have to give keep your XAI API key. Now, where you will get your XAI API key? So again, back to your uh, this X API. And here you see that. Um, on the left hand side now after you got this 150 dollar credit on the left hand side you will find this uh, second option here you see that api key so go to there and here you will find this create api key click on that now after that here keep any name and click on this save and it will be saved as your api key now copy that api key and put it here and click on this done and it will work fine now for this video purpose i will use the request api key 
because if you use this request tree, then uh, you will get many advantages. Let me show you that. And also you will get $1 credit for free. Here you see that after the sign up, I have got this $1 credit for free. What advantage you will get from this request tree that there is a GORG3 mini beta, beta high and also this GORG3 mini beta low option. But for the official GORG account, you see if I go to this client and select this XAI, they have only available option which is GORG3 mini beta and GORG3 mini uh, fast beta like that. Okay, but there is no low high option. But if I go to this request tree, Okay. and here you see that there is an option for this GORG3 mini beta high, GORG3 mini beta low and GORG3 mini beta and also there is an option for this GORG3 mini fast beta high, GORG3 mini fast beta low okay so all of these kind of variation are available through this request tree so I think this is good uh, from this request tree so now what I will do uh, I have given this request.com link, link in the description so if you go to that you will find this page and here you will find this get started option click on that and after that it will ask for the um, to create an account just give up um, uh, your google sign in and after that uh, some two three procedure this is very simple to sign up and after that you will find this type of dashboard okay and also the api key also you will get during the sign up okay so copy that api key and uh, provide it here under this api key and you will select this model okay so done now what I will do uh, that I will tell you another option which is the open router basically uh, if you go to this open router here also you will find this two option GORG3 mini beta GORG3 okay so you can use this uh, open router also if you want but here if you use the open router you have to pay remember these things here you see that this is the popular live bench leaderboard uh, for comparison between the models and what they have selected here this reasoning average coding average language average mathematics and data analysis okay based on these these are the selected based on these here you see that gemini 2.5 pro experimental is on the top and here you see the gorg 3 mini beta is here okay now uh, again clock 3.7 sonnet is uh, above the GORG3 and O3 mini high also is above the GORG3 and O1 high also is above the GORG3 and they have also done the comparison based on this GORG3 high model not the low or medium okay so here it is completely visible that Gemini 2.5 Pro is uh, the king of all the LLM model okay so that's why recently I am using this Gemini 2.5 Pro for all of my coding tasks and also uh, in the upcoming video i will tell you that for which uh, coding purpose uh, what model you should uh, use okay so for that please don't forget to subscribe this channel now let's uh, test this um, GORG 3 so yesterday uh, if you have watched my video that you see that using this optimus alpha stealth model i generated one landing page one SaaS landing page if you have watched that video then you know that what was that structure it was like modern looking and amazing now today also I will uh, actually uh, use the same prompt here you see that I will copy the same prompt and uh, I will provide again uh, to this client but I am using this uh, GORG3 mini from this request T okay and also it is GORG3 mini beta high okay so if I paste it here and click on this enter and currently under this plan mode and it has also this thinking option here you see okay my task got completed now i will open it on my local host uh, and it is port 5500 so if i open it here you see that this is the web page and this is very bad man this is very bad if you have seen my previous video in my previous video i used this model optimus alpha this is a, this was stealth model means um, it was not published uh, officially but this optimus alpha gave me a huge experience because i generated a SaaS landing page and that was enough man means in one single prompt I generated one modern looking but here you see that using this GORG3 and I am using this uh, high version okay this GORG3 mini high 
and here you see that this is the output there is no proper styling there is no proper uh, modern looking there is nothing this is a simple page he has uh, it has given me and you see when i have generated this uh, in each step it is asking me some unnecessary question if you see let me show you here you see that i gave this prompt and after that here you see that it asked me one unnecessary question that uh, what do you want like hero section feature list pricing plan testimonial about means there is nothing to choose man because if you see here all of these sections are required for a saas landing page then what should i choose why should i choose right now again i have given this modern minimalistic design now after this uh, option here you see that it is again asking me that what is the um, what is the key section that you want and i have chosen this pricing plan and after choosing this pricing plan it is asking me again that what should be the product name description means uh, it is again asking me what should be the key section why it is asking me why uh, what is the key section that i uh, require for my saas landing page it is obvious that for us for a saas landing page this feature list testimonial about us contact form and this hero section with call to action button all of these things are mandatory man so why is it is asking me it should not ask me this type of unnecessary question although it has asked me and although i have given uh, the uh, name the product name description but the end result is not good then why should i use this model for my code generation i will not use this model for my code generation this is uh, my opinion now you test this model in your um, vs code with client and let me know what is your thought uh, what experience you are getting because you see that clearly or it is visible from this benchmark comparison also this uh, gemini 2.5 pro experimental is on the top after that there is a one high o3 mini plot 3.7 sonnet and after that cog 3 mini beta high but i don't know why uh, it is better than the dipsy garon because using that dipsy garon also i generated one better web page uh, for this same prompt but i don't know why they have kept this uh, cog 3 mini high uh, before dipsy garon you please try this and let me know in the comment section i have done this testing in front of you with transparency uh, there is no hide and seek game uh, so i hope this video is helpful for you guys please let me know in the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe this channel don't forget to like this video if you found helpful